Hello, Facebook, YouTube. You know, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting, you know, of looking at, you know, uh, I guess things from a simple standpoint. I guess. Maybe. You may think different. But here's the thing I see a trend about. The difference between being a true Christian or, you know, or false one or a sinner, whatever you want to call it, but I see this trend, you know, and concerning the deception of Satan. The deception of Satan is all about, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you can make, you know, create a system to make people think it's all about them, you can enslave them. If 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 we can if say well if Satan can create a system that magnifies people to make people seem as great in the eyes of people, you know what I'm saying? You got them. You got them in more likely the web of deceit that's on your dollar bill in the back of it. You see, see the spider webs. Well, those spider webs are not there for no reason, but it's a spiritual mindset that they put on there that they want y'all to see and behold that they or don't want y'all to see but you don't see yourself being a part of the web of deceit but y'all are part of the web of deceit because as long as you gravitate to a system that magnifies you in the flesh that you can accomplish things you can do this you can do that you everything or you can become as God you know, I heard that, you know, somewhere in the Bible, somewhere, you know, in Genesis 3, somewhere. But anyway, uh, when you can be, if it's all about you, then guess what? <laughs> you will gravitate people on the web of deceit. And here's the thing that God showed me about a web today, you know, uh, the, the web and the spider. You know what I'm saying? I just want to share about this, the ideal of the web and the spider. But that's not the topic of the message. But here's the thing about it. See, here's the thing. People, first of all, people don't even know. Uh, when you look at this world, I mean, and all the confusion, conflict, and chaos is going on, I hope you see that you are in a system that's all about take more than taking lives than producing them. I mean, I mean, I think you should see how much, you know, the ideal of pushing abortion and, you know, same sex marriage, you know, and not producing a child with each other and transgender, you may not gonna have a child and this idea of not unproduction system that this world system is trying to make people believe to be uh, associated and a part of is trying to tell you that this system does not want to produce the ideal of life or they're coming against what Jesus God said and uh, in uh, Genesis 1 be fruitful and multiply you know what I'm saying it's tough to be fruitful and multiply when all of these things are happening abortion and same sex marriage and you know, transgender but anyway see but you don't see but the, the ideal is supposed to tell you that you know this system is trying you're in a spider web of deceit you're in a spider web of deceit because if you look at that system, you know that demise means less people and and uh, a more and, and and more confusion, conflict, and chaos. That you know people are killing people, hurting people. You know Satan is like a, a lion seeking whom he may devour. You know Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You see a lot of that activity going on where you at. I hope I'm these what I'm telling you is telling you that you are in a spider web. And you're in a spider web and, and the spider web is all about you know using your selfish ambition about you being seen as great among the eyes of people, whether it's you know job or uh, sports or you know just being in a scene, you know, looking good. You know, here and looking good in the club, looking good here, looking good everywhere. Everybody wants you in a physical, you know, way. Is what this system is uh, cultivated and created to for people to um, 
is the system is created and cultivated for you to be on a selfish ambition. And as much as it keeps you on a selfish ambition, as much as you can stick to this web of deceit, as much as the web, as much as you like a, a fly stuck in a web, the fly is stuck in the web, it, it, the more it moves, the more it entangles itself. You know, that's why I love what Paul told Peter, Timothy in 2 Timothy and, and 3, I believe, don't be entangled of the affairs of this world system, pretty much. Don't be entangled yourself. But I see a lot of tangled Christians in this system, and it's sad, you know. Not, I mean, yeah, the world is entangled in it, but it's sad if you see Christians entangled in it. I mean, how are you going to entangle somebody and you entangle in it? I'm just keeping it real 100. But the thing is, this deception, this web of deceit becomes more stronger and more powerful as much as people become on a selfish ambition that will gratify themselves higher than, you know, higher than God, you know, kind of like, you know, 1 Corinthians uh, 10, you know, that, you know, that you, your, your knowledge is exalted higher than God. Now you have a stronghold, some, you know, something is of this world system, of the desires of this world. You have a stronghold addiction to drugs or to anything that will, you know, keep you away from God, you know what I'm saying, or destroy you or kill, still, will kill yourself. But this system or this world is a web of deceit and this world of deceit is deceiving a whole lot of people and the problem is people are not aware of this web of deceit and it's just sad when I look each and every day to see people on, don't realize they're on the web but here's the thing that I want to encourage you about the uh, bug on the spider web don't lose the fight keep on fighting out of this web don't stop fighting in this web. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop fighting. You feel a tent. You feel a web. You feel that web. You feel the uncomfort of, you know, reality of what's going on around you. That things are not right. You see things are not right. You see things are doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You don't don't accept the web. You know that if you're stuck in it, don't continue to wall in it. Ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart to give you the strength, the ability to get out of this web of deceit. You know what I'm saying? Because it, because the spider is taking too many lives, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? That's going on in this world right now. But the thing is, this, you, this world is a web of deceit. But this web of deceit becomes more powerful as much as we operate in a selfish ambition. And the best, you know, uh, weapon Satan can use. Uh, to get humanity in this web of deceit is their flesh. Best weapon, as you can see. And as you, we fight each and every day to operate by the spirit and not of the flesh, is what is the what is the purpose of our fight if we are fight, fighting a good fight of faith. You know what I'm saying? Operating by the spirit. But the thing is, look, self is going to, our self-fleshness concerning our flesh is going to be our worst enemy and are going to be a powerful enemy but we need to understand you know that we need the Spirit of God more and more to fight this good fight if we're going to get out of the web of deceit to truly get total victory of our lives and have true victory in Jesus Christ and truly become a light that this world needs because this world is getting more darker and darker as much as the too much bad things are going on around it is going to get darker and darker that I hope this video can help you open your eyes concerning what's going on around you that you need to see and stop being blind and your mind, your eyes are entangled in the web of deceit concerning what's going on. So that's the message. I hope you get an understanding of it. I forgot the topic of it, but I felt like I need to go that route full by the spirit, y'all. But I hope I have a message for it. That's I mean title of a message. That's the message God be doing. You're a perfect never Jesus say amen.